15-year-old Palestinian boy has been shot dead by Israeli soldiers in the occupied West Bank. The army said it identified him as a fighter who'd thrown a firebomb at them close to a settlement near to Nablus. Meanwhile, in the Gaza Strip, Palestinian pilgrims and students studying abroad were able to leave the territory today after Egyptian authorities opened the Rafah border crossing. Things have been relatively quiet in the occupied West Bank. But violence is never far away here. And this morning, a 15-year-old Palestinian boy was shot and killed by Israeli soldiers. The army said it acted after a Molotov cocktail attack near the Israeli settlement of Yizhar, just south of Nablus. Residents of the Asira al kabalia village identified the dead boy as Suhaib Saleh, whose brother was killed by Israeli troops in 2002 after carrying out a shooting attack near Yizhar, which wounded two soldiers. This morning's incident comes a week after armed Israeli settlers from Yizhar assaulted Palestinians and damaged houses in a nearby village, which the settlers said was a response to the stabbing of a nine-year-old boy. Meanwhile, in the Gaza Strip, Egypt has opened its border crossing with Gaza in order to allow Palestinians in need of medical treatment to leave. Among those who intend to use the opportunity to leave are Western activists from the Free Gaza Movement, who last month sailed to Gaza aboard two boats from Cyprus. Most of the 44 activists, who declared they had broken an Israeli blockade of the Gaza Strip, left on boats a few days later. But nine stayed behind to carry out further humanitarian work, and for weeks have been rejected exit by both the Israeli and the Egyptian authorities. This morning the activists arrived at the border crossing with Egypt to see if their passage will be approved by the Egyptians. I think Egypt has discovered that it's better to let us pass through so we don't make any noise than hold us here and try to punish us for breaking the siege of Gaza uh, a month ago. Israel allowed the activists to dock in Gaza despite a blockade it's imposed since Hamas, who opposed Israel's existence, seized control last year. Israel has eased some restrictions since an Egyptian brokered truce in June came into place, which has largely stopped rocket attacks from Gaza into Israel. But land crossings have remained largely shut to a million and a half Palestinians living in Gaza.